what causes all of the things that people experience. Because that's the really that's the root. We can look at treating high or low blood pressure as a symptom, but if we only treat it as a symptom, we don't ever actually get to the cause. And the goal in this entire thing is to get to the cause. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start talking about some of the symptoms that people experience. You yourself may experience some of these. You certainly know people that experience some of these. But then we have to think, okay, so what do all of these symptoms have in common? So for example, brain fog, digestive issues, weight loss resistance, or the inability to lose weight. If you combined all those together, you have the majority of what causes people to go to medi centers, and in some cases, uh, ERs. And I mean, these are all, there's commonalities in here. So those are symptoms, but let's go to the next level. Let's look, okay. If that's the symptom that people are experiencing, the question then should become, not how do I treat the symptom, but why is that symptom there in the first place? When you're experiencing these, you have increased nitric oxide, which increases chemical mediators of inflammation. So basically what we're looking at is what the heck drives increases in inflammation that increases or creates an increase in nitric oxide production which then creates all of these symptoms and this one here this one here is going to be different for everybody but in this box right here is the secret so let's look behind this box is stressors in this box right here there's different stressors for everybody so when we're looking at what's driving inflammation across the board it's going to be a combination of a multitude of these. 